Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to be diving into the Instagram Basic Display API, creating a Facebook app. This is the first step in getting started with the Instagram Basic Display API. The reason we need to create a Facebook app is so we can retrieve a user's profile information, such as their username, the number of posts they've made, info on all those posts, and so on. Let's create our Facebook app developers.facebook.com. You want to hit the My Apps drop down. You want to hit this Create App button right here. Instagram app, we'll call it Instagram Basic Display App. Let's have a test on there just so we know this is uh, our test app. Email, you need an email on here or it won't let you create it. So I'm just going to put my generic email down here and do Create App ID. Verify you're not a robot. And if you're not a robot, your app should be created. There we go. We've got our Facebook app set up. The first thing we're going to do is head over to the left nav under settings and click the basic tab. Here we have our app ID, our app secret, our display name. We can leave names to space blank. Uh, the app domains, we're going to put in the domain that our Instagram app will live on. Contact emails there from when I created the app. Privacy policy URL will be required, but you can just put in any domain and Facebook will accept it. Next we're going to select a category. We'll put this under education. Let's add an app icon here just so it's a little more personalized. And the last thing we need to do is scroll to the very bottom and we have to add our website where we're going to host this app. Click save and that's all we have to do for the uh, settings part of our Facebook app. Now we need to add the Instagram product to our Facebook app. In the left hand navigation bar click on products. Look for the Instagram and click setup. Once you click setup, you should see Instagram now listed here under your products. We're going to click on the basic display since we're using the Instagram basic display API. We're going to scroll down and we're going to click the create new app. We'll keep our display name the same and we'll click create app. The page should refresh and we should have an Instagram app created for us. We see our app ID, our app secret, and our app name right here. Keep scrolling down and we'll see our valid OAuth redirect URIs. These, this is where you need to place this is the UR This will be the URL where the user will be redirected to after they have authenticated with our Instagram app. So what will happen is the user will click on a link on our website that says verify your account with Instagram. They will be taken to a page on Instagram. A little pop-up will appear and it will say, do you give this app authorization to access your profile? They're going to click yes, and then Instagram is going to redirect them back to whatever we put in here. In my case, I'm going to redirect them to uh, my website, blog code, and my Instagram basic display API folder. The authorized callback URL, I believe it's required, but we're not going to use it. So we're just going to put in our base domain. Same for data deletion requests. We're not going to worry about that right now. And the last section, app review for Instagram. This is once our app goes live, right here the status is right now in development, um, but once it goes live you need to actually request these permissions and then Facebook will review it and it will approve it and then your app will work in uh, live mode. But we're just going to keep it in development in test mode for now. 
All is good. All has been saved. A quick recap, we have created our Facebook app. We have added the Instagram product to our Facebook app. We have created an Instagram app under that Instagram product. And we have just one thing left to do, and that is we are going to add ourselves as a test user to our Instagram app. To do that, we're going to expand this roles section and click on the roles. You should see yourself as an administrator. In the bottom, we are going to click on the add Instagram tester. Oh, we can't see that. <laughs> I'm in the way. Let me, go, let me just do this. There we go. Instagram tester. Add Instagram testers. Click that button. And all you have to do to add Instagram testers is just enter their username. So I'm going to put in my Instagram username and I'm going to click submit. I think it will refresh. And then you should see yourself there as pending. So what you want to do is you want to go to your account. You want to click on the settings icon right here and the apps and websites. And if all went well under the tester invites right here, we should see our app. Look at that. That worked. You're going to click accept. And now you have authorized the app that we just created over here on Facebook. Let's give it a refresh. There we go. It's not, see, it doesn't say pending anymore. So now we are um, a verified test user for our Instagram basic display API app. And that's as far as we go. We have created ourselves a Facebook app. We have created ourselves an Instagram basic display API app under our Facebook app. And we have added ourselves as an Instagram test user to our Instagram app. Now we can start coding in the next video. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see implemented next. I'll catch you later.